Well, several places in India are likely to suffer from humid heat waves in the next few days. The India Meteorological Department declared 2024's first heat wave conditions for isolated pockets of the Indian state of Rajasthan on March 27, 2024. The criteria for the IMD to declare a heat wave is when the temperature of a place crosses 40 degrees Celsius in the plains, 37 degrees Celsius in the coastal areas and 30 degrees Celsius in the hills. These temperature values are the thresholds set by IMD for the declaration of heat waves in India. Apart from this, the temperature on a particular day has to be above normal by at least 4.5 degrees Celsius for two consecutive days for a heat wave to be declared. When the temperature crosses 45 degrees Celsius, the weather agency immediately declares a heat wave without considering the deviation from normal temperature for that particular place. Well, the IMD has come up with two new terms for heat stress, and that is warm night conditions and hot humid weather. According to some studies, humid heat waves close to the humanitarian survivability threshold of heat stress is already occurring in India and are not being monitored. More importantly, the people being impacted are not being informed about the occurrence of such conditions. A groundbreaking study has cast new light on the global fight against climate change, challenging long-held views on the benefits of tree planting. Researchers have uncovered that under certain conditions, planting trees could actually be contributing to global warming. Tree planting has been widely celebrated as a key strategy for combating climate change. Trees known for their ability to absorb the carbon dioxide heating our planet have been at the forefront of reforestation efforts worldwide. However, scientists have now found that planting trees in inappropriate locations can do more harm than good. Published in the Nature Communications Journal, the new study highlights a critical oversight in previous climate models. It turns out that too many trees in certain areas can lead to a decrease in the Earth's albedo effect, that is, its ability to reflect sunlight back into space. Instead, these areas absorb more heat, potentially warming the planet further. The concept of albedo is crucial here. Forests with their dark canopy of leaves have a lower albedo compared to ice or snow-covered regions which reflect up to 90% of the sun's energy. This means that while forests are vital carbon, their contribution to global warming through reduced albedo cannot be ignored. Now, these findings underscore the need for strategic reforestation. Places like the Amazon and Congo Basin, Congo Basin rather, are ideal while planting trees in areas like temperate grasslands, and it could be counterproductive. While the study suggests that reforestation's cooling effects may be less than previously thought, due to changes in albedo, experts remain optimistic. Reforestation, when done correctly, still offers immense benefits for the planet, from bolstering ecosystems to improving air and water quality. Climate anxiety has surged to unprecedented levels among the younger generation across the globe, marking a defining challenge of our times. A recent study from Curtin University has brought this issue into sharp focus, highlighting the profound impact it's having on young Australians. Now, the study has revealed a striking reality. While climate anxiety is profoundly felt, particularly the Generation Z, those born between 1995 and 2010, a significant majority have not translated this concern into action. Over 80% of Australian university students surveyed have expressed considerable unease about climate change, ranking it as their paramount environmental worry. 
This anxiety isn't just a fleeting concern, but it manifests as deep-seated fear and distress about the planet's future. From disturbing thoughts about impending climate disasters to feelings of anger and powerlessness, the psychological toll is heavy, shaping life decisions and even future aspirations. But despite the overwhelming concern, the study finds a notable disconnect. Only 35% of this anxious demographic, demographic in fact, actively participates in the traditional climate advocacy, like protests or fundraising efforts. Many instead turn to social media to express their fears and seek information. This report underscores a crucial point, the necessity for not just awareness, but action. Now, as the world grapples with the realities of climate change, the voices of the younger generation inspired by figures like Greta Thunberg are becoming louder, demanding a shift from concern to tangible change. Thank you. 